you were on Blueprint too, right? Uh, I'm on like a couple bars on a song. Yeah. We're all like a couple bars in on a uh, As One song. Yeah. But we got a plaque for that shit. So yeah, I am on Blueprint too. Exactly. Yeah. You're getting placements. Right. You don't have any monster songs, but you're getting songs that people are fucking with. No doubt. You're on albums that are selling and everything else right. like that. And I'm part of this whole big... Uh, movement. Movement, yeah. Yeah, so, for Rockefeller you know, The shows and everything was really... Uh, it was really crazy. Tours, consistent tours mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Absolutely. So, so you're starting to have legitimate money coming in. Right, yeah. You know, you yeah. could leave the street shit alone and you could actually support yourself. Definitely, yeah. So... Now, at one point, uh, Jadakiss and, and Beanie Siegel start beefing. Yeah. Now, what really sparked that off? Yo, to be honest with you, I never knew what they beef was about. Me neither. I didn't. <laughs> That's crazy. And it was hard for me because I was and a You were right Jada, there. <laughs> I was a big Jadakiss fan, too. Yeah. Still am. You know what I'm saying? But me, too. It was hard because it's like you got to suppress your inner Jadakiss fan. <laughs> You know what I mean? Cause you, cause you, the click you with they all, we all going hard right now, we moving. But I was like, damn, I fucks with Kiss, man. So that was wild. So, so did you actually get on any records like like dissing Jada Kiss and stuff I like that? I didn't. Nah, uh, I wasn't around that time of they beef. I wasn't officially officially locked in with them. I I was just up at the label, up at the studio, uh, just trying to work my hand. Okay. And so, was, so you weren't trying to get mixed up in all that. I mean, I didn't really have the option if I wanted to. Okay, fair you know enough. Saying? They were on their own. They were state P. I wasn't officially in yet, you know what I mean? Yeah. But Cameron, shout out to Cameron. He used to fuck with me heavy while I was up there. He Actually, he's the first person to do a song with me when I got signed. Okay, so Dipset was already part of Rockefeller when you got there? Yeah. I mean, Cam, uh -huh. was, Cam was there. Okay. You know Dame had. You know Cam... The whole Harlem Damn, thing, yeah. That move, so. Exactly. But Cam kept it funky with me. He did a, he did a verse for me. Yeah, it was dope. Now you had mentioned that, uh, you had a song. With, Cameron. Oh yeah, and, that's and, what I'm talking about. Yeah. And, and Jay Z took the took Cameron's verse off. Yeah, man. Okay, so so, you and Cameron worked on a song together. Yeah. It was your song or Cameron's song? It was my song. It was one for PD Crack. Oh, it was one for PD Crack. It was one for P. It was the original version of one for PD Crack. Okay. The original and um, Cam had saw me perform it at like some uh, show I had in Philly. I don't know why he was there, but he was just there chilling. It wasn't even he wasn't even part of the show. He was just in the background chilling. I think one of the DJs had invited him out, one of the Philly DJs, and uh, he hit me the next day. He's like, yo, crack, yo, I heard that joint you did that the Mac goes, ring. I want to do that over with you. So he's like, yo, next time you come up to New York, go to baseline, record it, leave it for me, and uh, I'll hop on it with you. Okay. So I went up the baseline, I laid it, and I called on the old killer, yo, the joint, I laid it, the verses is open. And I go the next day, and uh, he put a verse on it. Him and Jewel's put a verse on it. Mm. And it was dope, and I was loving it. I'm like, damn, shit is crazy, and I was excited. Of course, I'm excited because you know it's my first joint with a with a real known artist. You know what I'm saying? And Cameron was was really buzzing back right. then. Right. Yeah. So uh, I'm playing it. I'm playing it for everybody in the studio. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Jay comes in, and he like, yo, what's that shit, man? I was like, yo, this this new shit I did, man. Yo, so I told the engineer, yo, play that shit for Jay. He turned it on and. Uh, my verse went on and shit. Jay, like, it's not that game I'm from Philly. Go by the name. P. Frizzy, man. Millie used to be with y'all. Frizzy, and I like rolling on twins. And then Cam Park come on since I was 11 years old, dog. I had birds and bees. Scissor, please. Jay tapped the engineer, like, yo, 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 stop that for a second. So, yo, yo, delete that shit. I'm like, the record just stopped, like, Ugh. I'm like, what? <laughs> was this a uh, young guru? Nah, Someone it was else? a good name, Shane. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Jay Z stopped the record. Stopped the record and told him to delete that shit. He's like, "Yo, take this." He's like, "Yo, take that off, man." And then just walked away. And just walked away. I'm like, "Oh shit!" Wait. So, so he heard the song. Yeah. You, you're right there with him. Yeah. 
He's listening to it. He's vibing to it. Hey. Cameron starts rapping. And he's like, yo, stop that shit. Yo, delete that shit. Delete that shit. It's like, no. And the engineer had to follow instructions. Yeah, hell yeah. He deleted that shit. Doop, doop. Shit out of there. So anyway. He didn't, he didn't even save a version. He just No, the whole man. He saved shit. So <laughs> Jay Rose, I'm sitting there stuck like Chuck. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm depressed now. I go. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. Up? So he deleted it, but he didn't actually lay a verse down himself. Nah, nah, nah. He ain't laying no verse. I mean, I didn't think he was going to lay a verse. I just was playing it because I wanted him to hear it. But to check it out. Check out what happened, though. Okay. So a couple of days later, I was in um, I was in fucking uh, at the Metropolitan in Manhattan, and I was uh, scheduled to fly out to L.A. So one of the interns or one of the secretaries at Def Jam called me, called my room. I thought she was calling me to tell me that the car was downstairs for me to take me to the airport. She called me and told me, like, PD, hold on, Cam want to talk to you. And he get on the phone, yo, what up, crap? I'm like, what's up? He's like, yo, yo, man, um, oh, I told him, I'm like, yo, I got to tell you something, man. I ain't want to tell him at first, but I'm like, yo, I got to tell him because I can't hold this shit in. It. And then I had appreciated him doing it with me so uh, so much. I'm like, yo, keep it G with him, crack. Let's tell him, man. I was like, yo, I was in the studio, man, last night, man. I played the song for Jay, man. Yo, he deleted you off the song, man. And Cam, it's like, he ain't even good. He's like, he's like, yo, it's cool, man. Don't worry about that shit, crack. Just do what you gotta do, man. Don't worry about it. And um, I, I, we hung up. So I hop in the car service, about to go to the airport, and he called me back again. He's like, yo, where you at? He said, yo, meet me around. He gave me a street wherever. I met him around there. I met him back at uh, Baseline, actually. And um, I met him there, and he had a copy of the... Uh, he took a copy. He must have took it when he recorded it. Mm -hmm. And he gave it to me. He was like, yo, don't worry about that shit. He gave me the CD with his verse on it. So I played that shit the whole way to uh, Cali. You still got it? Nah, I don't. I'm going to tell you why I don't got it, though. Yo, uh, I played the shit on the airplane. That's when we had little dismans and shit. Mm -hmm. I played the whole way to Cali, and I get there, and the whole state P is already there. You know what I'm saying? So I go, I go up to their room and shit. They all in one room playing a game, smoking and shit. I'm still excited again. I, I pull the CD out. I'm like, hey, Beans, look. This is joint I did. Man, check this shit out. I threw the CD in the um, deck, and I press play, and the same shit. When it, when it got up to Cameron Park, this nigga Mac stand up and go walk over to the CD player, kindly ejected that shit and broke it in half and threw it in the trash. Like, yo, get the shit out of here. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Beanie Siegel. Yeah, man. Grabbed sorry. the CD with Cameron on the verse. I don't know why. Broke yeah. it in half. Cracked it in half and threw it in the trash. Like, get the shit out of here. And just got back to playing the game and smoking. Like, I just walked out. I'm like, yo, I don't know what the fuck is up with these niggas. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. I just got there. I'm like, yo, is this what goes on? I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what beef is going on. I don't even know. Got no insight on the Harlem, Brooklyn thing. I don't know what the fuck is up at the time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm super lost. Like, the fuck is good? Well, I mean, clearly from the story that you're telling me right now, Beanie is siding with Jay Z. Right, yeah, basically, yeah. But you know what? Mac was just Mac was just being loyal, you know what I'm saying, to them. Now looking back at it now, Mac was just riding and trying I guess showing his loyalty to to, to uh Jay and just riding on whatever Jay felt. Cause I don't believe that was even anything towards Cam. Cause Mac and Cam always had a good relationship from what I seen. And even after that, they never had problems. So I was like, I couldn't really put that to nothing else but him just riding. If that's what was going on right then and there, he rocking with his man Jay. But I don't think it was nothing personal towards Cam and him. Aside from, from those two instances, did you see like tension between Dipset and Jay-Z? Uh, nah, I just would see, I, I would notice that Jay wouldn't never be around, around where they at or they, they don't interact like that. You know what I'm saying? But we always interacted with the whole dip set. Me and Jim was cool. Me and, me and Joel's was tight. You know what I'm saying? And I was, that goes for all of us. The Young Guns was cool with them. We was all good. We all was in Puerto Rico together. It was dope. But I think that K 
Cam, him and Cam. But I really don't know the details of it. I just didn't never know. Did you ever? I remember there was a, a podcast, I think, with Tax Stone and Karen Civil. Because I guess Karen Civil was around during that time. I don't I don't remember her yet. I don't remember her. She told the story about how, uh, I guess, Cameron had parked in Jay-Z's parking spot. Mm-hmm. And th- there were some problems that occurred over that. That was like when... I've, I don't know, man. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, see, I was too new to really register any of that bullshit that was going on at the yeah. time. See, now I can pay attention and know what's up. But at the time, I was just... Fair enough. Lost. Like, 